Hey friends, Rabbi Jenny Solomon here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Wanted to offer this mincha moment, this moment of pause, um, in two parts. So we are in the week of Thanksgiving, of course, and also the Torah portion for this week is Vayetze. So I'm thinking about gratitude, and though I firmly believe that Thanksgiving is a holiday worth deconstructing and um, understanding the history behind, uh, as a spiritual seeker and as a rabbi, I will never um, dismiss an opportunity for a holiday to help us cultivate gratitude. So in that spirit, I wanted to offer a short teaching in two parts. I'll offer a bit today uh, and a bit again on Thursday at some point during the day. So in this week's Torah portion, Vayetze, Yaakov, Jacob, um, leaves, sort of flees, actually, Be'er Sheva. He has just stolen the birthright and the blessing um, from his twin brother, Esav, and he is leaving in a difficult place. He is really in a place of, of fear and um, running for his life in many ways. And it is in his experience in the wilderness, in the Midbar, that he lays down for the night using a stone as a pillow and has that famous divine encounter of Jacob's dream in which he envisions a ladder rising up from the earth and angels going up and down. And of course, there's so much to say about the incredibly rich language and about the specific symbols that are used in this passage. But I actually wanna pay attention um, instead to the fact that Jacob is alone. And I wanna suggest that a lot of us are feeling a really deep sense of aloneness or loneliness as the case may be in this moment. There are those of us who are feeling profoundly alone for a very long time now, independent of COVID. Um, some of us are feeling alone for a very long time now because of COVID. <clears throat> and as we move through this holiday week, there are so many of us who wish we were with close family or close friends who are gonna choose not to travel <clears throat> um, to keep each other safe. And I want to say that um, one of the things I'm really struck by in this week's Torah portion is that Jacob has this divine encounter, one of the great divine encounters described in the whole Torah, um, in this place of aloneness, loneliness. I often think about the fact that we come into this world alone and we leave this world alone um, and yet connected all at the same time. So there's a phrase that my meditation, um, Rabbi Jordan Bendat Appel, once used that really stuck with me. And he talked about a kind of warm aloneness. That is, can we hold our own experience of being alone in this world, right? There are all these ways in which we're interconnected. That is irrefutable. And we are also all alone in a certain sense or have an experience at times of being alone. Can we experience that aloneness with warmth, with holding, with compassion, with gentleness, with kindness? And can we make space, perhaps, to encounter an angel, um, even metaphorically, or to encounter the divine, or to encounter some kind of connection beyond, even as we hold our own aloneness. Maybe because 
of our aloneness and because of our capacity to hold our aloneness with warmth, we make it possible to experience blessing, to encounter the divine all at the same time. So if you're feeling alone right now, and in many ways I am feeling that, I bless us all with the gift of holding ourselves with warmth, with kindness, with surrounding that quality of aloneness with a kind of compassion and warmth that will still make it possible for us to experience blessing. I look forward to connecting with you again on Thursday. Wishing everyone a good, good rest of the day. Peace. Shalom.